The leader of the Democratic Party, Lul Zimbasha, says that negotiations have not been opened with Albania, describing the decision by the foreign ministers of the EU as a direct rejection of the government and Eddie Rama. The, the US Embassy congratulated Albania regarding the General Affairs Council's decision to determine the date for opening negotiations as June 2019, before adding that Albania now needs to step up efforts to complete key reforms. The Agriculture Guarantee Fund will see a further 5 million euro added, with Minister of Agriculture Nico Pelleschi emphasising the importance of utilising international financial support. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Wednesday the 27th of June 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country, translated into English. In response to the opposition with regard to the General Affairs Council deciding on negotiations with Albania, Prime Minister Rama has published two videos on his Facebook account. In the first case, Eddie Rama writes that the General Affairs Council posted the congratulations to all Albanians after no easy agreement on the date of opening negotiations with Albania. Yet the opposition of Albania, in a vulgar and fictitious way, accuses the government of a failure in Europe. Further on, the head of the government writes that these are brutal performances against the common goal of integration. Meanwhile, in another video, Rama has detached two sequences. The first, a statement by the Democratic Party chair made in Parliament declaring that it was Germany who had set conditions. And the second, the German foreign minister saying that they encourage a pro-vote from France and the Netherlands. Also via Facebook, Rama declared that he considers the decision by the General Affairs Council as a sign of success for Albania. Chair of the Democratic Party, Lul Zimbasha, reiterates that Albania has not yet successfully opened negotiations. Different from the government's rhetoric, Basha reiterated that there are three important steps Albania must take before the June 2019 decision. EU has not opened negotiations with Albania. There is no decision to open negotiations, nor the date for opening negotiations. The European Council, which is the decision maker, will not consider the issue of opening negotiations at all tomorrow. And the General Affairs Council Council convened yesterday and postponed this decision until at least one year from now of June 2019. The truth is that the negotiations have not been opened, but it is suggested that Albania will be able to open in June 2019 if it meets set conditions, said Lul Zimbasha. Basha says the European Union did not decide against the Albanians, but rejected the government that, according to him, is linked to crime. Opposition leader Lul Zimbasha refused to specifically state how the opposition will behave to the institutions after this decision, but said the Democratic Party will do everything to free the country from what he calls a government held hostage to crime and corruption. Basha said that in the coming weeks and months, Albanians should reflect deeply to change politics and governance to safely restore the European perspective. One day after the decision of the General Affairs Council regarding negotiations with Albania, President Ilir Meta declares much more responsibility and cooperation is required. In a statement issued to the media, the head of state announced that yesterday's conclusion by the General Affairs Council on Albania's accession negotiations with the European Union should be welcomed with realism and responsibility. We all have to appreciate the positive will with which both the European Commission and all member countries welcome the process of Albania's integration and the entire region in into the EU. Further, Meta adds that this approach should prompt us towards a fair and realistic reading of the serious challenges we face, especially in regards to the rule of law. One year passes quickly, just as one day passed yesterday. Our next June examination will be very challenging as the European Union itself will have its electoral exam at the same time. Therefore, I encourage all towards concentration, responsibility and cooperation, said Ilir Meta. The United States of America gave a media statement congratulating Albania on the decision made by the foreign ministers of the EU regarding the opening of negotiations for June 2019. We congratulate Albania on the positive decision regarding the opening of EU membership talks. Albania has made significant progress and now needs to increase its efforts to complete key reforms. We encourage Albania to step up the pace of justice reform in order to fight against corruption and organised crime, read the media statement. The decision to open the way for negotiations in June 2019 was also welcomed by Member of European Parliament, Edouard Kukan, who congratulated our country on the progress made so far.
I congratulate yesterday's conclusion to the General Affairs Council on opening the road to accession negotiations with Albania and Macedonia. I want to congratulate the two countries on the progress made relating to the EU integration agenda, said Eduard Kukan. Further, Kukan says he will support Albania and Macedonia in completing the reforms. They deserve a clear message about the start of accession negotiations. A year has been given to the countries to ready themselves for the negotiating table, reflecting the Council's internal discussion on the EU enlargement process. I fully support Albania and Macedonia in this process, and I trust in their commitment to the reform agenda, said Kukan. The decision was also commented on by the ambassador to the EU, Roman of Lahutin. Albania has received three positive things. The first is to know the recommendation based on the reforms that have been made, which is very important. The second is a clear timeline and due date for the intergovernmental conference, and this is also very important. And the third, the council has admitted that the commission intends to start the preparatory work. I can say for myself, for the delegation, for all colleagues who work hard in Brussels, we are very happy, said Roman of Lahutin. According to the EU ambassador, June 2019 provides a clear timeline as in the EU world, such a discussion means a commitment to this date. After two roundtable discussions between the Tirana municipality and the actors, the National Theatre Agreement was reached. The press statement underlined that after a meeting between the Mayor of Tirana, Arion Beliai, and the artist community, represented by filmmaker Altin Basha, and actors Alfred Trubetska and Arben Derhemi, the agreement was made to construct a new modern building at the site of the National Theatre on the land where it is today. I want to thank the entire community of artists, trade unions, citizens, protesters, architects, urban planners, firefighters, all those who have given a hand. Some have been intense, some sporadic, but everyone who has lent a hand to find common ground has helped to deliver Tirana a new modern theatre on the land where it is today. This has not been an easy negotiation. At first we all started from extremes, from very different attitudes, but apparently where there is a will, there is a way. I want to publicly thank not only the two unions, but all those who insisted that this project be done better, said Arion Veliai. The Mayor said that the National Theatre will be erected on the same grounds as where it currently exists, will use a single-use building and, above all, will be constructed without the use of public funds. The project we have today is the best. It's not perhaps a perfect project, but we are already sanctioned through the bylaws that will safeguard the negotiations for the new theatre that the theatre property remains as is, negotiating the new theatre as a single-use building without the proposed tower above. We are negotiating this theatre in a new way, with keys in hand, but with private money. In this way, even those who worry as to why we are spending on art when we have no bread to eat, even though this is not true, have no need for concern because no no one will be taxed for this proposal, said Arion Veliai. Filmmaker Altin Basha welcomed this first consensus step while stressing that the talks will continue to finalise into a full agreement. We have agreed to the first stage. There are still some issues to discuss, but we have been assured that they will be addressed during the process. We will soon have another hearing in the form of a debate on some issues that are still unfinished. We think that in this process, we have found some points that have been important to us to be present in the law. We are saying once again, it is a first phase. The process has just begun. And of course, we are still in communications for further details, said Altin Basha. The final decision will see the setup of a working group to negotiate for the project and the construction of the new theatre. There will also be a representation from the artists. Regarding the draft law presented to the Assembly, Veliai said that it is only the beginning of technical discussions that will continue to improve the draft until the finalisation of these negotiations, evolving into the completion of a new theatre. Agricultural Guarantee Fund will see 5 million euro added to be given in collaboration by the EU, KFW and the Albanian government. The scheme, which launched back in 2015, operates through soft loans and so far over 1,200 farmers have been supported. During a meeting in Leja, in the presence of the EU ambassador, Roman of Lahutin, and various foreign representatives of central and local government, Minister of Agriculture Nico Peleshi emphasised the importance of supporting international financial instruments in this sector. The Guarantee Fund also serves as a trust tool for banks to back up this sector. During the meeting, it was emphasised that the providing of credit to those interested in cooperation with some partner banks will begin in order to assist the agricultural, livestock and agro-processing sectors. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.